Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, The Future Synthesis Academy. As you can see that today's topic is photosynthesis, which is also called as carbon dioxide fixation and carbon assimilation. Now this is a very vital topic, which is there in the syllabus of students from class 6 to postgraduate level. And I will try my best to make this topic very interesting. Today, I will be discussing the basis of photosynthesis. Now, let me deal with the definition. What is definition? Now, photosynthesis is basically a, an anabolic process. or a physiochemical process where reducing powers are generated. Now, what are the reducing powers? They are nothing but uh, NADPH and ATP. Now, these two are known as the chemical energy. Now, these are the reducing power which are generated, but how they are generated is very vital. Now, to generate this, we need CO2 in the atmosphere. Now, this reducing power is basically generated because of this CO2 and there is also a requirement of water. Now this is also called as a redox reaction where both reduction and oxidation are taking place simultaneously. Ye ek saath hi hote rehte hai. Ab isme reducing power to generate ho raha hai. Lekin ye reducing power baad mein isi carbon dioxide ki fixation karwaega. Matlab this will be utilized in forming nothing but C6H12O6. That's very simple. But it is not so simple. Because this entire process is divided into all the chemical process which are taking place in, in the green color plastid which contains which, which is nothing but uh, but which is nothing but chloroplast and it and it uh, contains the chlorophyll molecule so we need chlorophyll molecule now this is also an enzyme regulated process where this chlorophyll molecule is nothing but the reaction center where the process of the photosynthesis happens. It's happened inside the chloroplast and this chlorophyll molecule is basically the light absorbing material which is present in certain organisms. Now what are those organisms which perform photosynthesis is really important. Now there are certain plants which are basically, basically autotrophs. or photoautotrophs then there are certain algae which are nothing but uh, diatoms and phytoplanktons Then there are certain bacteria which perform photosynthesis. Now then there is a protist which is nothing but uh, euglena which is a connective link between, between uh, heterotrophs and autotrophs. This euglena performs both the function as an autotroph and a heterotroph 
and Euglena gracilis is a model organism to study the interlinking between its conversion into being a phototrop and heterotrop. So all these things are present on the surface of the earth. They absorb the quanta of energy in form of light, the light packets, the photons, and they are involved in this process of photosynthesis, where atmospheric carbon dioxide is basically fixed. Now this is also called as carbon assimilation, where the atmospheric carbon dioxide is incorporated into the cellular material and that cellular material will always and always be organic in nature. Now we can also say that this process is basically utilizing inorganic compounds to make organic compounds and that is why they are phototrops and phototrops are basically the producers. These are nothing but the producers which are present on the surface of the earth. And basically most of the consumers are dependent on the producers. Now there are certain heterotrophic plants in terms of saprophytic plants, in terms of insectivorous plants, in terms of they are heterotrophic plants which are basically dependent on this, this type of producers for their own organic content. Now because these organisms are able to perform photosynthesis, now photosynthesis is basically also divided into two types which is nothing but uh, oxygenic photosynthesis and an oxygenic photosynthesis. And basically the organisms which are performing oxygenic photosynthesis and anoxygenic photosynthesis are respectively called as oxygenic uh, photosynthetic organisms and anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms. This term is given on the basis of generation of O2. Now this on entire board I have not mentioned O2. This is the process also where liberation of, uh, liberation of O2 happens. O2 is liberated. And this O2 basically is utilized by certain organisms which are respiratory in nature. Like us, we utilize this O2 which is nothing but given by these plant organisms or these organisms. So oxygenic photosynthesis basically gives out oxygen by fixing the atmospheric carbon and making this organic compound and anoxygenic photosynthesis does not liberate oxygen. It does not. That's why it is called as anoxygenic photosynthesis. Bairal, yahan pe hota kya hai? Anoxygenic photosynthesis mein cyclic photophosphorylation hota hai. This is a very important term. Cyclic photophosphorylation. Jabki anoxygenic photosynthesis mein non cyclic photophosphorylation hota hai. Now this is this is this is so simple in terms of being differentiated, but uh, but uh, uh, this is not so the case. As a as a uh, simplicity is is sare process mein hai nahi in sare process bahut hi complicated process hai isliye photosynthesis mein uh, you you people will get a definition where it is a it is it is mentioned that the series of enzyme regulated process multi step process where uh, light absorption happen where energy conversion happen energy conversion in terms of light energy is being converted into chemical energy and then uh, it is it is also a process where where <coughs> uh, 
electron transfer happens a multi step enzyme regulated process where carbohydrate carbohydrate is made from a uh, simple inorganic compounds so on a whole basis this this is is basically the 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 primary primary process where where oxygen is being made and these organisms are basically involved in in liberation of the oxygen now there is there is very much uh, a kind of opposite or reverse process which is happening between photosynthesis and cellular re respiration now what is the difference between cellular respiration and photosynthesis is also very important and it need to be understood because it is a reverse process of cellular respiration in cellular respiration this o2 is consumed this o2 is consumed because this this glucose has to be metabolized into our system whereas in photosynthesis this is made by consuming this carbon dioxide so it in terms of in terms of uh, knowing that photosynthesis is basically a reverse or opposite process of cellular respiration where cellular respiration is is an and a process where where atp is is generated where over here means it is in terms of generation of atp one is exergonic reaction and one is endergonic reaction so in terms of knowing that cellular respiration and photosynthesis is basically reverse of each other it happens because there need to be certain parameters to balance now that parameter which need to be balanced is known as compensation point now what is compensation point compensation point is is that level of carbon dioxide which is released during the cellular process and which will be utilized by the plant and the plant utilize these carbon dioxide carbon dioxide are basically released into the environment by two process only one is cellular respiration and other is burning of organic fuels so this burning of organic fuels liberate carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and there is only and only these organisms which can utilize that atmospheric carbon dioxide and fix it into the uh, cellular organic material so basically there is a compensation point which need to be balanced between the carbon dioxide and the oxygen so this process is very important photosynthesis runs because it need to balance this this compensation point the amount of carbon dioxide that is liberated by these two process of cellular respiration and burning of fossil fuels are basically converted into something substantial in the plant so that's why this becomes a very important process now <clears throat> we know that uh, photosynthesis at the early of my lecture i i, I mentioned that uh, that uh, this is a biological oxidation reduction process where where <coughs> carbon dioxide is working as uh, as uh, uh, electron acceptor and this water is working as a uh, electron donor and this biological oxidation and reduction process completely happens in in a in a in a simultaneous manner which is which is in uh, goes in hand in hand and this this entire thing of carbon assimilation carbon dioxide fixation or photosynthesis is basically divided into certain parameters like photosynthesis will be always in light dependent manner and light independent manner whereas we know that cellular respiration is basically happening because of exhalation and inhalation so there are certain things which are basically uh being utilized in utilizing the carbon dioxide that is released so in today's video i basically discuss the various things which are happening during the process of photosynthesis now there are a bacteria certain bacteria they have bacterial chlorophyll
and then they are plants which are having this this chlorophyll molecule and this chlorophyll molecule is present where in chloroplast so in this way in this way i i tried to just make a summary or a, or summarize photosynthesis so please do like share and subscribe my channel and uh, your like and subscription will keep on motivating me to bring good quality content and in the next video i will be basically discussing endosymbiotic theory for the development of chloroplast and the plastid so happy learning and uh, i hope you enjoyed the session thank you Thank you.